In this video, I'm going to be covering level of detail calculations, and this one is perfect for beginners and all those people who get super confused with level of detail. I'm going to break it down step by step. Let's go. Before we begin, if this is your first time here at Jellyman Education, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I publish new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. That way you don't miss out. So that being said, let's get straight into it. I'm going to start with the Excel data itself. So let's bring that over here. Now this problem I've actually had to solve in uh, my real prof uh, professional work. And it was something that we had to calculate in order to monitor very closely the progress of one of our projects. And basically in here, I have 10,000 uh, rows of data and each one has a unique ID. So imagine that's a person. And we were checking if they had done a certain thing and there's two statuses for that it's either complete or incomplete and what i want to do is over time i want to map out how many are complete and how many are incomplete and calculate the percentage okay it sounds simple so let's go ahead and do that and if you want to follow along it is there is a link in the description below and you can download this data set okay so let's do a fresh tableau let's get rid of all this Okay, and let's bring the data over. So I'm just gonna drag this and bring it in here. Okay, here we are. So we've got the data loaded and let's get into the first sheet. So let's uh, visualize exactly what we're trying to do. So we wanna see the count over time. So let's bring in a order date. I'm gonna do the right click drag method. So I'm gonna drop order date in and we're gonna look at this at a month level. Okay, so we go month continuous. Okay, so you got all these little points. And then we want to do a count of these individuals. So we can use this one right here, which is the preset count. Or you can just count off the unique ID. It's the same thing. All right, so we'll use this one. Let's bring this one in here. And these are the individual people and the date next to their name. Then what I want to do is I want to do a running total. And actually, I'm going to move my face. Whoa, I'll go this way. Whoa, I'm going to slide over. Okay, there we go. That way you can see it better. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a running total. So quick table calculation, running total. Cool. And this will equal 10,000. So if I get to the end, we get 10,000 as the running sum. Cool. Then what I want to do next is I want to split this between how many are complete and how many are incomplete. So let's grab status and drop that into color. There you have it. And we have a line chart. So we don't really want a line chart because I want to see a percentage. So the best way to see this is actually an area chart. So let's do that. There you have it. And now we have the values we're interested in. So if I'm looking to calculate this value at the very end as a percentage, well, it's very simple. I take the 3,974 you can see right here and I divide it by 10,000. Okay, so let's get our trusty little calculator. And it's gigantic. So 3,974 divided by 10,000. Okay, 0.3974 times 100 to get it into a percentage. So it's 39.74%. So how do we get that number out? Well, if I just do a, you know, a display straight away, that's not going to do it. It's just going to give me the actual numerical value there. It's not going to give me the percentage. Well, I can do this. I can add these labels in. So I'm going to duplicate this count into label first. So if I duplicate that in here, right, holding control while I do that, and I'm going to do a shelf calculation, basically modifying this formula while I'm in here. I can open it up by double clicking, or I can right click and go edit in shelf. Where's the edit in shelf? Uh, oh, here, edit in shelf, the big bold one there. And I can simply divide by 10,000 like so, convert this to a percentage uh, by formatting it, like so, 39.74, which matches what we calculated, cool. And then one of the other requirements was we don't wanna see this incomplete. We just wanna see the complete. So I gotta filter out this incomplete. So if I go into status, get rid of incomplete in the filter, and then you have your 39.74. We only wanted to see the most recent value, and that is it, right? So you're probably going, well, where's the level of detail component in this? Well, here it is. This is probably bad practice. 
putting in this 10,000 as a fixed value because the project is constantly changing. More people are coming into the stream, so they're being added. And as they're adding, well, then this total value is constantly changing. So it's hard coded. It's not very dynamic. And it also means that as people are added, I have to come in here. I have to modify this and then do it that way. Right. So that's not good. Ideally, we'd want this to be automatic to just self adjust. All right. Well, how do we do that? Well, I can use, let's say, and a lot of you are probably thinking, why don't you just use the um, percent of total quick table calculation? Let's give that a go. Yeah, there's a lot of background to this, um, so you can understand why we need level of detail. Okay, so let's go back. We have this. Okay, let's kind of compress this down. All right, here we have the running the running count. Cool. What if I just change this to percent of total? So let me duplicate this again into label, holding control. I'm going to go in here. We're going to clear the old one. I'm going to go in here again quick table and let's go percent of total and let's see what we get so you get small values because you have to tell it to only calculate at that point in time otherwise it's trying to do the percentage of the whole thing which is what we don't want so let's go in here and go compute using and I believe it's based on status I think it's status the one we use yep okay so then you have status and you get these percentages and you're probably going looks perfectly fine to me. So let's go back to our initial calculation. And you can see these two are different. 39.74 and this one is 39.18. So we'll, why is it 39.18 is the question. Well, that's because this value isn't, isn't actually doing this calculation. It's doing something else. It is doing, if I get rid of that running total, it is simply looking at that particular date and time Right, so that's November or sorry, December 2020, and only looking at that value. It's not looking at the running total, which means it's not actually the correct number. You need to do it as a running total percentage over time. This is only looking at that one instance in time. In fact, if you cleared all this, and we go exclude, okay, that's all it's doing. It's not looking at the whole data set. So you cannot use this method to calculate percentage either. Then what you have to do is, well, what options do we have left? Well, we need to solve this using level of detail, and I'm going to show you why. Let's go back a bit. All right, so I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to, let's get rid of this. Oh, hang on. What did I do there? Get rid of this. Okay. <clears throat> what we really need to do is if I go back to that first method we did, I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to go divide 10,000. Really what we need to do is somehow be able to pull out this value dynamically. Basically, no matter what the visualization is doing, I want to always be able to say uh, to pull out 10,000 as a number from the data set, right? But the problem is every time I do a filter like status like this, if I just kind of write a reference to some of the whole thing, it will take 3,974 and it'll end up just dividing by itself, right? So we need to be able to get that value regardless of whatever filtering we do. So this is where level of detail calculation really comes in. So let me go into a new sheet. So let me go new sheet. Okay, so whenever you do a level of detail calculation, um, you have to think of three parts that you need, right? The first is the actual function itself. Then you need to know what dimensions you have to put in. And then the last is what aggregates you need to put in. The way I do this is whatever value I'm trying to pull out, I visualize it first. So in our case, it's actually the total count. So if I take this count and just drop it in here, that's actually what we're trying to pull out. That's it. No filtering, no other breakdowns, no other dimensions just the total count. So then once I have this, this is the clue on how to build your level of detail calculation because you simply replicate what you have here. So let me show you. If I go in here and I go create calculated field, I'm going to say um, total people, okay, which is what we're looking at. I'm going to start with braces. So whenever you do level of detail, you always have a brace, okay? And then I'm going to use the fixed function. So I'm not going to get into why you use fixed, include, exclude at the moment. As a beginner, or if this is your first time, the fixed simply um, does exactly what you tell it. 
the include and exclude is relative to what you're building. So it's a little bit more complicated to understand. So for now, the fixed simply replicates what you're, what you see right in your build. That's all it's doing. So, and then you need two other things. So you need the dimensions that you've used colon, and then the aggregate that you're doing. Okay. In this case, it's count. And then you close off the braces. So those are your three components fixed, the dimensions you're using, and then the aggregate. So let's fill this in. This one's easy. Okay. This is this count. So I can actually take this one and bring it straight in. Okay. And by doing it this way, I know that this is actually equal to this. I, I can see it. And this is where the problem with level of detail happens in that you can't see exactly what this is pulling out. Right? What kind of value it's actually extracting? Um, in this case, we know. The next part is this one, which is what other dimensions am I using to split this data further to control at what level I am calculating on? In this case, it's the highest level, right? Because there's no dimensions. We're not breaking it up. We're not filtering it down. It's the highest count, in which case we simply leave this part blank. Okay, that's it. So now if I go, okay, we can test this. So how do we test this? Let me go into a new sheet. I'm going to do an order date and drop it into rows. And let's do a year like that. And I'm going to do quarter. Let's bring in the total count like so. And I'm also going to bring in the total people. I'm going to drop this in. And you can see it's 10,000. It's fixed. It's fixed itself, which means no matter what granularity I do, it will always give me 10,000. Right. You can see I can go all the way up to day and it's always 10,000. This is amazing because what I can do is if I go back to quarter, I change this one to a running total like so. So we have running total there and I can simply divide one by the other. So I can go create calculator field. We can now go running percentage and I can simply take this one divided by the other one. So I can go like that divided by this one like so. And we go, okay, we bring this one into the measured values. And this will give me the percentage. So you have to format it. So let's just go format, switch this to percentage. Okay, there you have it. And we also need to filter for just the complete. Otherwise, it's going to give me 100%. So let's go complete only. And now you have that 39.74. And you can see this matches our calculation, regardless of the filtering right? It's exactly what we need. So now what I can do is I can go back to this one, get rid of this label, and simply drop this one in. Well, hopefully it'll work. Let's drop that one in. And you can see 39.74. If I show the whole thing, you actually be able to see the percentage changing. In fact, if I, if I also take this one in here, you'll be able to see a percentage um, access as well. Right, so it's going all the way up to 40%. So this tells me the project is at 40% at this stage. And if we keep adding more people into the analysis, right, or we take people out because there were some errors or something, because this is the real world, it will self update that um, denominator, I guess you can say, in order to calculate that percentage. So I hope you guys learned something. It takes time to understand this stuff, but I have a lot of uh, videos and training I've done around level of details. In fact, if you really want to learn a lot about it or, you know, basically the whole of Tableau, um, I have a complete course on Udemy. The link is in the description below. So if you want to check that out, check it out and it covers as much as I can possibly cover. I'm actually building the 2021, 22 edition. So when that's available, I'll release that as well. So until next time, hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you soon. Bye.